Hi, welcome to another edition of the Alan Rosenberg Show. So, we're going to be doing a haul video today. I really wasn't expecting to get much of a haul. Went to the flea market today, there was nothing there. And recently, we're having a conversation with a fellow YouTuber, Steve Harold, who's got an amazing channel. And he had been mentioning that he hasn't had any luck at thrift stores. And I commented that I haven't been having much luck at thrift stores either. It seems like the CD quality there has gone way down. Um, wasn't having much luck. So today I went to two thrift stores that are more higher end that I go to fairly regularly once a month or so. And man, I hit gold, Steve. So uh, let me show you what I got today. Uh, you can kind of see. So this is uh, from the thrift store. All of these CDs, by the way, well, you're going to see. They were a dollar. So uh, I just uh, lucked out. So, and this is influenced by Steve Harold because he's been telling me uh, I should get into this stuff. So first of all, um, I got uh, David Lee Roth's solo record. He's a huge Van Halen fan, and I had mentioned I only like Van Halen really with David Lee Roth. He's like, well, what do you think of the solo albums? I'm like, I never had any. Um, so I picked up a Skyscraper. Hopefully this is good. Uh, we'll see. Just like Paradise, I know that track. And, of course, this does have Steve Vai, who I highly respect as an incredible guitarist. So, for a dollar, all of these were a dollar. So, that got that one. Now, David, if you're watching, I really don't want these to fall. Um, now, a couple of weeks ago, I picked up... Uh, you know, I'm becoming a Swifty. She's amazing. And uh, I picked up her Fearless album, which I was, like, blown away how great it is. That's in another video. For a dollar today, I got this one. Fearless, the Platinum edition this is two two discs uh one is a cd and one is a dvd and this thing it, look at how loaded this is oh my god so it's got the original album fearless plus a bunch of other stuff plus dvds with videos making of extra songs she knows how to do it a dollar now what am i gonna do with the other fearless i guess i gotta dump it all right uh i also got her very first album obviously very young here I don't know if I know any of these songs, but uh, we'll see, because, uh, man, if it's anything that is like the other ones, real good. Steve Harold, I keep mentioning you, he's a really big fan of the 80s kind of pop music, and I'm really not, but he did a video, and he was talking about Bow Wow Wow and how great they are. Now, of course, I know uh, I love candy, or I want candy, I want candy, right, which is a cover song, by the way. They, they didn't write that song. So I found two Bow Wow Wow CDs today. I Want Candy, which I've never seen before, so I don't know if this is rare. I guess it was at the wall at one point, the store. So there's I Want Candy plus some other stuff, songs that I have no idea. But this looks kind of cool, and it actually says dig digitally remastered, so it must sound good. And this is even more interesting, the best of Bow Wow Wow. And uh, it's got that famous photo shoot that everybody knows and on the inner. And this thing is loaded, man. 22 songs. So this is for you, Steve. I watch your video. You said Bow Wow Wow is great. So I'll find out as it goes into my backlog, and I'll get to it eventually. Now, what else did I get? You see, let's see this. I got this today. Now, this is um, the second Velvet Underground album, White Light, White Heat. Now, I've had this album forever. It's actually sealed. Paid a dollar for this, and it's sealed. Uh, this is a BMG copy, no less. So, why am I mentioning this? So, here's the curse of the collector. I've had this box set since it came out, and I'm a really big Velvet Underground fan, as most people who listen to classic rock, and you listen to Velvet Underground, you fall in love with them. So this, of course, has their first four albums, digitally remastered, with loads of bonus tracks. The problem is, and maybe this affects you, or maybe I'm just insane, which I guess I am. So the box set has all the albums, but the way they did it in this box, and there's some other boxes like this, they didn't separate the albums in different CDs with their artwork. They just put all the albums on the CDs. They flow into one, one another. Like this one, there's one CD for each so it's kind of separated but doesn't have the artwork so for me in my database it's like i don't have all their albums i only have this thing well i have other velvet underground albums as well i have all of them but um 
So it always pissed me off. So as an insane person like I am, I had to go out and buy the original CDs. So when I look at my database, not only do I got that box, which has all of their CDs plus more, now I got to have each CD. Yeah, isn't that insane? I know, crazy. White light, white heat. So I've had it for decades, but now I got it separately. Speaking of insanity, so here's the Eagles, right? So I've had these... These are all digitally remastered CDs, their whole catalog. Plus, I got the greatest hits and live stuff and bootlegs. You know, I like the Eagles. I think I don't think they're as great as everybody, the greatest American band ever, but they're certainly a great band. And these are great albums. So I have all of them, right? Check out this thrift store find. I found this in a different thrift store. And this is a limited edition of all of the Eagles albums, right? All the albums you see here. But the cool thing about this, let's open this up, they reproduced the albums exactly how they were on vinyl, with posters. So look at this. So here's the first Eagles album, Gatefold Sleeve. You pull it out. It's got a, the original you know, album jacket. Remastered, I guess, again. Here's a Desperado. And I've been listening to these again. They sound great. So here is on the border. Now you probably can't see it. There you can see it. They made it so it has the same texture as the original album. I mean, they, they literally are reproducing it. Everything. It even comes with the original poster that came inside. I mean, these are just magnificent. And this is a limited edition. I'm going to keep showing you this. Let's get this in there. Next up is one of these days i'm assuming one of these days originally opened up at the top because this one does i didn't know that you can't see it can you but it's embossed can you see it yeah there it is it's embossed it's three-dimensional awesome and the original inner let's keep going hotel california Beautifully reproduced. Isn't that beautiful. And then when you open it up, it's got the original inner sleeve and a poster as it appeared on the original vinyl. And they did a magnificent job with these things. They sound absolutely great. Those sounded great too. But I guess now they even sound a little bit better. And then here's uh, the long run. Uh, done exactly how it was originally and to top it all off you get the Eagles live now if you can see really close it's also embossed three-dimensional can you see that I just dropped all those CDs see it's like three-dimensional embossed they just reproduced the hell out of this thing it's incredible it's, I'm touching it. It's three-dimensional. Opens up. Beautiful. And then you got the original inner sleeves in here. And the original inner sleeve in there. Like that. And if that's not enough, there's a poster in this one. How cool is this? So they did an amazing job. And if that's not enough, they threw in an extra bonus of this thing called Eagles Funky New Year Back with Please Come Home for Christmas. So, like a CD single. So, all of that stuff in this box, limited edition, number 19,108 out of 20,000 produced. I found this at a thrift store, and I'm not making this up. Don't hate me. I paid $5 for this. $5. So the curse of the collector, I already had these Eagles albums on vinyl, and I got them on CD. Then I got digitally remastered CDs, and now I got digitally, digitally remastered CDs again, reproduction of the albums, and I don't need these anymore. Because I don't need, it's not like the stones for me. I, I only need one copy of this stuff. So uh, the curse of the collector, but you always got to keep getting the better and better. So... Pretty great find, that Eagles CD for five bucks, all these other ones for a dollar, 
Uh, there's one other one, and I paid uh, usually much more than I would usually pay for a UCD, but this is a cool one. I don't think I, I got this a while ago, but I don't think I ever showed it. The Jack Bruce Band Live in 1975, and that was a short-lived band that he had with Mick Taylor, Carla Blay, Bruce Gary on drums. You know Bruce, Bruce Gary he became the drummer of the Knack? Ronnie Leahy, and this is June 1st, 1975. Great artwork, and they had, it's a two CD set of that Jack Bruce band. Um, really nice packaging, the whole story, and being uh, a huge Rolling Stones fanatic that I am, and a huge McTaylor fanatic that I am, I had to have this. And this is not a, a particularly easy uh, disc to find. And um, so I paid, uh, for me a lot, I paid uh, $7.99 at one of the record stores that I got a couple of weeks ago. So there you go. There's my haul. I think pretty damn great and illustrates also the addiction of being a collector and buying the same stuff over and over again. Well, buying it because the box doesn't list the album separately, so I got to have it separately. Fucking insane, right? Anyway, hope you enjoyed this haul video. Uh, let me know your thoughts. Are you as crazy as me with this kind of stuff? And Steve, if you ever watch this video, this was your influence. Bow, wow, wow. Hope they're good. Uh, David Lee Roth, hope that's good. And if not, eh, it was a dollar. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you had a great weekend. Hope the Sunday night is a good one. And I'll see you next time on my next video.